we're going to be working on a heart box. There you go. And essentially all I'm doing here is playing with hearts. I know. I'm pretty good with it. This is actually an empty box, so you could lift off the lid when printed and look on the inside. Perhaps as a Mother's Day gift you can make this, or, I don't know, for a friend, quote unquote. Anyways, let's show you how to make this. Let me move this off to the side. And I want to start off with a heart. Did I pass it? There it is, the heart. And I'm going to click on the edge. I'm going to make this 100 by 100. All right, there you go. And I'm going to start off with this making the bottom part. And I think I'll just click on two. Yeah, sounds good. Now, it's a heart. I don't want it to be brown. Brown, so red looks good. All right, so now I'm just going to copy and paste. That's Control C and Control V, or Command C and Command V, if you like. Okay, I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna make this, let's try 98, let's see what that looks like. And 98. I'm gonna move this over here, and because it's so hard to tell, I'm gonna change the color to pink, and I'm gonna move it up, how much should I move it up? One, let's move it up one. Okay, so I'm gonna move it over this one here. What I'm trying to do is create that separation that you see around this edge here, and essentially I'm making the, the sides of the box with this one. I'm gonna get a closer look here. And this is fine on the outside, but I don't like this edge right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the dimensions to 90, let's try 97 on both sides, 97. And, oh, you see how if I go over here, it feels like it's too far to the right, but if I move it over here to the left, now it feels like it's too much. That's because this needs to be modified a little bit from one millimeter to one tenth of a millimeter. So I'm gonna use the arrow to move it over slightly. Now, this is the part I'm not liking. At the very top, it's really thin and here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shorten this. I'm gonna click here and to make it shorter from here to here, I'm gonna change this to 96. I like that better and I'll just change this one just to keep it the same. Okay, now I'm gonna move it over. I'm liking that more. And the distance here is acceptable to me. Okay, so now that I have that, let me look underneath and see, okay, I'm fine. What I was checking under here is I wanted to see if the pink part, <coughs> the part here was visible and it's not, so I'm good with that. <coughs> okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to raise this and I'm sure, let's do 40. 40. Now here's the part that makes the actual box. I'm gonna copy and paste this, copy, paste. I'm gonna make this part transparent. And I'm gonna change it slightly to, let's say 94. 94, 94. Okay, now I'm gonna move it back and see what, I, what kind of walls I get with this. It's kind of hard to tell how close we are over here, so I'm gonna to go to the top. And you see it's gonna create a very thin wall here. And even if I move it down with the arrow key, it's not enough. So, again, I'm gonna move it to, let's say, 93 now, and 93. And that is gonna be better, I think. All right, that is better. I'm not sure it's 100% of the way I want it, but it is better. I don't know, that thin wall kind of bothers me. So I'm gonna do one more, one more change. And since I'm happy with the width, I'm just gonna go with the height here. And this is the height. I'm gonna change that to 92. And I like that better. 92 is the number. All right, so 92. Before I actually make this box, I'm gonna duplicate the heart inside, because I'm gonna need it later. You'll see why later. 
So, let me see, do I like this? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, so now I'm gonna select all this right here. I'm gonna make it one object, there it is. Now, this part here, the reason I wanted it is because I know it fits exactly in there if it were perfectly aligned, but that's not why I wanted it. I actually wanted it because, let me adjust this. What I want to do is make this part of the lid. And so I know it's going to cover this. However, if I make it smaller, I can guarantee it's going to fit in there. I'm going to make them both 91. And now I'm going to see if I can fit it in there with plenty of space around here. Because when you put the lid on, you, you're going to want it to stay in place as much as possible. And if you look at this ridge right here, it's telling me it's touching that, which means it would not close correctly. So let's see if I can figure out a way to get it to close correctly. Okay, so right there, nothing's touching. And here, nothing is touching. This is a good sign. I think we're ready. Now, I'm going to move this up a little bit. I'm going to make it solid. And then I'm going to separate this because I'm going to want a copy of the bottom one. There it is. This is what I want. Copy, paste. I'm going to move this up by dragging on the black triangle. And I'll move it over to the side. Now here's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to make this all again one piece. There it is. Now I'm going to play with this part. I'm going to move this up just right now so I can see where it is. And then this heart is going to be moved so that it fits symmetrically. I think that's good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this part under and so now when the lid goes down on top of the box, this heart-shaped box, it won't move that much. It'll move a little, but not that much. So I think once I have this together, I am done. Now, mind you, this is a pinkish color. This is red. The only thing that really matters is the color going into the printer. Now, for my printer, because I have a limit of 140, and this is at 100, I can't print both of these at the same time. So I would have to print the bottom part first, and then the top, or the other way around. But I can't print them both at the same time. All right, so here's something else if you want to go a little, I guess, fancier. We can put a name on the top. So let's say uh, you want to make something for Mother's Day. Mom. There you go. Mom you now have a box to put all the junk I give you every year on Mother's Day. And there you go. And I'm going to move this. I, you see underneath here, I don't want that to print on the other side because nobody's going to see it. So I want to make it not as thick. And we lost it. So I'm going to move it back up again. There it is. See where it ends. Now, if you wanted to, of course, you could fancy this thing up a little bit by adding more to it and decorating as however you like. It's up to you at this point. Or you can just change it to I love you or anything. Anyways, that is, sorry about that, that is a hint of what you can do with this. It is pretty cool. Maybe even put a little type of handle here. That way she can grab it from there. I don't know. But you have options. Maybe even put the name on the sides. Maybe a heart. I don't know. Random stuff. Feel free to play with it. But please play with it because it is awesome and you can make a bunch of things. So enjoy. Have a good day.